So when you think of statuses, I'm sure you're thinking of poison, paralysis, KO, sleep, but what about exhaust? I'm sure you all know when a monster is drooling, that's exhausted, but that's not it. So today we're going to dive a little deeper into exhaust demo. Hey there hunters and welcome back to the Gunner's Guild. Today we're going to talk about some super sweaty strats called exhaust dunking. This is a setup BJ had originally showed me back in Rise, but due to how fast we melted monsters, it didn't really seem all that useful. But now in Sunbreak, exhaust dunking still exists, and it's more important than ever to learn, so don't skimp out on these bowguns with exhaust demo. Since I'm sure most people are unaware of what exhaust demo actually does, let's take a quick refresher. Exhaust Ammo is a status ammo. It comes in level 1 and level 2. It basically does 1 damage a hit, it's nothing. But it applies 50 exhaust status with level 1s and 100 with level 2s. If you hit a monster's face with exhaust ammo, it actually applies KO, 20 for level 1s and 30 for level 2s. So you can use these as a way of KOing monsters as well. But that's all they do. Now I'm sure some of you are asking, well what is exhaust status? Is it that state where a monster is slow and drooly? Well, Yes, it is, it's an exhausted monster, and exhaust ammo does help get to that state faster, but it's really not efficient at doing that, it's a big waste of time to be honest. Monster stamina is a little weird. But exhaust ammo can also be reworded as stagger ammo. When you cross an exhaust threshold for a monster, it staggers. It's a small stagger, and it's usually not really worth spending your effort on, because monsters stagger all the time with hits. But what this does allow us to do is to choose when we stagger a monster. And one of the best times to stagger a monster is when it's airborne. Most of the time, players refer to a dunk as knocking a flying monster out of the air, or even a monster that's jumping at the players, and then of course you're sending it down to the ground before it can even land its hit. This can be really tricky to pull off, requiring either dumb luck or an understanding of the monster's stagger thresholds, and then preparing the dunk yourself. Like on Kushala Deora, I know it's 5 perfect shots on the leg to cross his threshold to Sagar. So if I shoot 4 perfect shots and then graze the last spread, I can prep the arm so that when it's airborne, I can shoot it out of the sky and knock it down. What Exhaust Ammo offers is the ability to decide whenever you want to dunk a monster out of the sky. It's incredibly handy for getting in more DPS, creating openings, or just looking like a pro. So when you plan your exhaust dunks, it does take some time. You first gotta figure out what monster can actually be dunked. Some monsters like Seregios, Kushala, or Elders can be knocked out of the sky with an exhaust dunk, but they immediately get back up on their feet. So it's kinda iffy on how much time you're actually saving there. Some monsters don't have an air dunk in general, like Basil Goose. It just staggers in the air and floats for a second, and then it returns to being airborne, which is usually not a good idea. It's useful, but it's not amazing there. And other monsters do have a dunk and a topple that makes them sit on the floor for about 6 seconds or so to give you plenty of space for free damage. Those are the monsters we want to target with exhaust dunks. So when you figure out what monsters can be dunked, then you need to figure out their threshold for exhaustion. Some monsters like Seregios only take 2 shots to stagger, and you can easily test this on the ground just by shooting exhaust at a monster and see how many shots it takes to flinch. You'll see the monster just recoil back. Some monsters like Zenogre or Magnamalo take 3, Rajang takes 4, and yeah, so you just kinda gotta go around and see who takes what and just play with it and keep it in mind. Do remember that Exhaustion is a status and therefore has status decay. Monsters will recover about 1 status a second or maybe 1 every half second, something like that. So you can shoot some early, but if you wait too long, you could lose your prep for the dunk, so be careful with that. But once you figure out if the monster can dunk and how many exhausts it takes, it's as simple as shooting one less than required, then wait for the jump, shoot it again, bam, easy damage. Monsters do build up resistance to exhaust like other statuses, so you can't just chain exhaust dunks over and over. Plus you're extremely limited on crafting them, I think 8 plus 5 craftables, so 13 is your limit. So maybe you can get 2 or 3 dunks depending on the monster, but that's it. I like to use it for like a 1 and done kind of thing, because it's really easy to get 1 dunk in for damage, but spending more time shooting exhaust ammos and waiting for that is less time doing actual damage, so be smart about it. Exhaust ammo is vastly underrated, and I feel like BJ's efforts to research this shouldn't go to waste, and the world kind of needs to know about it, so I'm kind of spreading the word. Uh, but that's all for me, I wanted to teach you all about exhaustion and exhaust ammo, hope you learned something, thank you all for watching, and good luck out there hunters.